Hey guys, it's Mr. Verdilli, and we're gonna try a new spreadsheet, a very simple one. It has a couple of pages, we're gonna name it Summary. <clears throat> and a couple of things I want you to do here. Uh, make sure you understand uh, what's behind the formula function. Okay, for example, if we just type 12 plus 67, if nothing happens, okay, because there is no equal sign, but if we type equals, 12 plus 67, of course, it gives us uh, the total, which is 79, okay? Another thing is uh, we can also type uh, equals 7 plus 3 times 2, okay? It's 13, but then if we type equals, we say 7 plus, and then parenthesis, Three times two. That, of course, is equal to thirteen. Also, because three plus two is six plus seven is thirteen. But then, if we type parentheses seven plus three parentheses in uh, times two, that's a whole different thing. Seven plus three is ten. Times two is twenty. Okay. So keep that in mind. Okay. Where we put those signs makes a difference because the order of operations which is parentheses exponents multiplication division addition subtraction just like in math okay i want to show you something else here if i type some then i highlight all four numbers okay gives me the total okay of course we learned that but i'm gonna enter some random data here there's other ways to use some that I want you to, to understand because you're going to be using this today. Whatever I'm doing here, I want you to do it on your worksheet, okay? So you're going to do the totals of the entire column and then we're going to add the other column just by holding the control key, okay? That means we can add two separate columns or a column on a row, whatever you want to do. So we're going to highlight this column and then we're going to put a comma. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on B4. Remember, put that comma there, which means I'm putting another number, and then B6. Okay, and so what happened, I added all three numbers. So let's try one more sum. <coughs> gonna highlight the entire column. And let's see. Okay, well, I messed that one up, so. Let's try this again. The entire column before through 17. Those two dots mean through through B7. You saw what I did. I put a comma. Okay. And that way you can add it. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll show you something else that's a good example of how this works or how the spreadsheet thinks, so to speak. I'm going to type 0, 1. <clears throat> 0 plus 1 is 1. Now one plus one, I'm adding the last two numbers. It's two, right? Two plus one, adding the last two numbers, three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight. Eight plus five is 13, and so on. But what the spreadsheet understand is, what do you think? Well, it's not going to. You see, it gives me random numbers. Why? Because I didn't use the equal sign, it didn't use a formula anywhere. So I'm gonna put the zero on the one, then I'm gonna go to sum, and I'm gonna add the zero on the one, <coughs> which is a four and a five. Now it gives me one. Now I'm gonna copy that all the way down. And you see what happens? One plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus five is eight, eight plus five is 13, 13 plus eight, 21. 21 and 13 is 34, and so on. Okay, because I use a formula, use that equal sign. By the way, if you're wondering, this is called the uh, uh, this sequence of numbers that I did, and um, there's actually a name for it. Okay, and it's called the Fibonacci or Fibonacci, Fibonacci or Fibonacci. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. <coughs> Fibonacci sequence. Okay, I know in Italian it would be pronounced Fibonacci. Okay, just in case you're curious about that. All right, so let's see. Uh, so I named that first first group file. So I want you to see here. Um, 
I just name put some employees numbers names I'm sorry employees George Sam Kim Joe and Mike put a total and then I Q1 Q2 Q3 and Q4 that's quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four okay and over here I have total average median that should be minimum and then maximum then minimum and I put them at the bottom too okay so it goes in that order and I'm gonna enter some random numbers here and I'm just gonna forward the video in a little while but remember over there on the right side it should be average median maximum minimum and hopefully you know what some of those mean median is actually the number in the middle of the sequence okay so I'm gonna add the for column the column the four numbers see but now I'm gonna extend it so I don't have to copy it again see that we did not do that before so now I want to understand this one more time some I'm gonna do the entire row press center and then I'm gonna copy it go down to the last name which is Mike you can see on the left hand side there is highlighted and it gives me the totals see a lot easier okay now look at this average thing over here so I'm gonna do average and there you go now I'm gonna do the average over here for oh, four quarters over there I, at the bottom I did the average for the four for the five cells right over here and do that for the quarter for each salesman, you see, just gonna stretch it and it gives me the average for each one of them. Pretty neat, uh, okay? Over there for each quarter, for each quarter, for all four salesmen, five salesmen. I'm sorry, so pretty neat. You don't have to retype the formula all over again, you just stretch it. Now, the median, remember that's the number in the middle of the sequence. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna click over here. Hmm, was, we don't know what the function is, right? So I'm just gonna click, click on more functions. I'm gonna type median here. Whoops, right here on the filter. See, and it tells me right there, it tells me what it is, exactly what it is, which is the number in the middle of a sequence. So the command is median, so I'm gonna go to copy, take it back. paste it. Okay, I'm gonna put the equal sign first. Remember that the equal sign I tells me there. Pick the numbers, so I'm gonna pick the numbers. But the median of those four quarters gives me the median there. Copy, paste it, draw all five salesmen and I get the number. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do it for the entire quarter. Remember the rows are the quarters, the columns are the salesman. Okay, I'm gonna stretch it. Oops, okay, there you go. And now I'm gonna do the maximum, which is the highest number. Or the minimum. Well, you see how that's messed up over there. I'm gonna fix that in a second. This is minimum, we should say maximum. Okay, so max. The command is max. I'm gonna pick all four quarters. See that? Very simple. Now I'm gonna stretch it. There you go. Now do the same over here for all five salesmen. Again, the column is the salesman. The row is the quarters. So you see that? I got the maximum. Now I'm gonna get the minimum, which is the smallest number of the four quarters. For each salesman, okay. Let's say minimum M I N, which is the command, and it gives you a total. Copy it. I'm gonna go over here to the bottom. I'm gonna add all five salesmen. Pick the minimum, and there you go. I copy and paste it. Pretty neat. Uh, pretty easy. How much faster it is. Now I'm gonna highlight these numbers over here what do you think you're gonna do with them yep got to turn them into dollar amounts with two decimals okay now I'm gonna highlight all of these things up top and I'm gonna go to insert row below see that we left on the space between the numbers and the very top where it says employee you want to do I'm gonna center them 
you see that? Very important to make it look better. Okay, so let's do that over here too. Okay. Having a center them. Watch how I go. Uh, well, I'm gonna make them bold and then pick over here down the center. Okay? Makes it look a lot better. Hmm. Let me try one more thing here before I move forward. It says insert row or column to the right, to the right. What's that? See? Now I separate it into two separate uh, tables, actually three separate ones because I had the one at the bottom also. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight that and say insert row above. See? Leave a little space there to make it look a little nicer. Now watch this. Okay, I'm gonna click on this over here. Yeah, right there. It says borders. I'm gonna pick that. See that? Makes a border around it right away. It makes it look so much nicer when you put some color on them. I'm gonna do the same over here because that's a separate table. Okay, and I'm gonna do that over here. There. Click on the table, and now we have three better looking tables. How about that? So now, much easier. Let's see if we put some color. I'm gonna fast forward this just because you know how to do that. But I do want you to understand all the shortcuts that I'm taking, and I want you to recreate these tables, okay? And we're gonna chart this one over here. Remember, don't chart totals okay don't chart the total see what I'm highlighting remember you can pause the video anytime if you want to by the way the sum sign where the formulas are and anybody knows what that sign is called the one where the formulas are see we're gonna use this chart right there by the way that sum sign we're gonna move it to some page we're gonna name the chart here. That sum sign is called Sigma. Okay, it's a Greek sign and it's called Sigma. We're gonna call this chart individual cells. Okay, bring it. So now we have the two. One's called summary, the other one is called we're gonna call it data for sales. Okay, so we have the three. So remember, by the time finish, you need to have the three of them, the summary, the data uh, for the sales, and you also need to have the uh, chart, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. It's actually, yeah, we're gonna call it ECC Electric. Pretty easy chart, a lot of shortcuts that I have taught you on this one, okay? how to make the formulas, how to stretch them across to cover several parts. And let's put a name over here, by the way. Uh, how to uh, take advantage of the formulas to total different columns and rows. Okay, also making a bold, adding lines or spaces in columns, in the form of columns or rows to do that I need you to be able to do that by yourself okay and making them bold centering the lines all that anyways I hope you enjoyed the video praise the video and uh, this is due by Friday all three of them okay have a good day